I often talk about inflammation and someone asked me, why don't you do a deep dive into inflammation and, and what it is? So sometimes we do use these terms and uh, haven't fully described them. So what we hear and is true is that inflammation is the root cause of really all the degenerative diseases we're really trying to avoid from heart disease, cancer, diabetes, dementia, obesity. These are all at their root are caused by inflammation. But then a clever listener said, yeah, but what's the cause of inflammation? I was like, okay, very good point. So, so here we go. First of all, what is inflammation? And it is uh, caused by your immune system. And there's two types. There's the good type, which is acute inflammation. And then there's the type we're going to be talking about, which is chronic inflammation. So acute inflammation is, you know, like you cut your finger and it gets red and inflamed and the immune system says, oh, there's been damage to a tissue get in there with white blood cells and, and uh, you know kill the bacteria, and it's all very acute. It happens over a short period of time, and if, as long as you're pretty healthy, the cut heals on its own. You really don't have to do anything to it. Now, chronic inflammation is when the trigger um, persists, so you get ongoing inflammation, and, and it fails to resolve. So why does it fail to resolve? Oh, I should also mention that the chronic inflammation causes tissue damage and then dysfunction, so that area of the body can't function as well as it should, and then leads to disease. So it's a process that occurs over quite a period of time. You don't um, have a little bit of inflammation and then suddenly have heart disease. You know, it's been developing. And the key that we like to do here at Root Cause Medicine is, of course, see those early warning signs so we can tur turn the ship around um, and prevent any long, long-term damage to where so much damage has been done. You know, you're, you're stuck with uh, the medical model of either surgeries, drugs, etc., because the body just doesn't have the wherewithal to heal. But I will tell you, having done this for 40 years, is that the human body is extremely resilient and very strong and uh, kind of never ceases to amaze me how strong and how much someone could have been suffering for decades and still turn it around and still heal and repair because your human body is so sturdy and resilient. So getting back to causes of this, um, what has overwhelmed this immune system? What is triggering sort of this constant, oh, there it is again, there's the bad guy again. And of course, it could be a combination of the things that we're, we're about to discuss. So one is infections. So you can have chronic infections, like chronic sinusitis. You can have um, viral infections like Epstein-Barr virus. We talk a lot about hiatal hernia syndrome and with uh, acid reflux and gastritis, you, we always look for a bacterial infection called Helicobacter pylori, also known as H. pylori. And that can be there very, very chronically and be missed. Um, you can do an endoscopy and miss it. So these are these chronic uh, in infections, whether viral or bacterial, that just trigger that immune system just day in and day out. Uh, I explain it to patients that, you know, at night your, your immune cells really come out and try to clean house from what's been happening during the day. And it's like they just rev up and go, okay, let's get it, let's get it. But sometimes they can't, you know, they can't successfully handle the infection. Uh, and, and then it persists and you get into the chronic inflammation, you get the tissue damage, you get the malfunction or dysfunction of the area and then leading up to disease. So other causes, poor diet is a big one and we can't talk enough about real food versus uh, the highly processed food. And there's so much, so many chemicals and um, preservatives. There's just, it's, it's so, unrecognizable is the best way to describe it to your body that your immune system starts reacting to these non-foods that you're eating because they don't recognize all these chemicals. I mean the, the number of the sheer number of chemicals that have been developed and put in our food in the last 40, 50 years is huge from from dyes and, and GMO foods and um, 
just the chemicals they're at. I mean, you know, they, they talk about like chips, you know, you get a bag, you can look at a bag of chips and it should say sort of potato salt and that, that, that should be the full list of the ingredients. But instead, you know, there's 15 ingredients and all these chemicals and your immune system will react to those. So a poor diet of uh, highly processed food will cause your immune system to react. And if that's something you eat regularly, then day in, day out, that's causing that chronic immune response. And I wanna to add to that list of, of good food, clean food, that you just happen to be sensitive to the food. So it could be gluten or dairy or corn or soy. Um, soy organic because a lot of people react to soy that's GMO processed uh, but you know it can be real food that you just don't you just don't tolerate very well and so that will cause an immune response toxins is also on the list so not just environmental toxins which are there uh, but heavy metals mold so you can get tested for these and see and and they can be very insidious and very chronic and cause a lot of just hard to track down symptoms because they're kind of all over the place. You can have headaches and you can have fatigue and you can have joint pain and, you know, just a, a very long list of symptoms that, you know, unless you're looking for this as a root cause, you're going to miss it. Um, obesity, unfortunately, is is another um, trigger because when you have that central adiposity, so the belly weight that we talk about, that those fat cells create their own inflammation. They create inflammatory chemicals called cytokines, and that continues the fire going. So imagine you have a few of these in every category. Um, now we've got some chronic inflammation. Now the microbiome, we talk about, which is the 40 to 100 trillion bacteria in your gut that have everything to do with the strength of your immune system. Because remember, inflammation is caused by the immune system. That's what modulates it. That's what handles it. And if you have dysbiosis, meaning you have more bad bacteria than good bacteria, you are going to uh, not get the benefit of what the good bacteria do, but the bad bacteria are a source of infection. So that's promoting this inflammation. And the tricky thing with the gut is that when you have the dysbiosis, you tend to have leaky gut. So instead of things staying within the gut where, you know, Mother Nature puts 70 plus percent of our immune cells in our gut for that reason, so we can handle these organisms as they come in our food, et cetera. Um, but as soon as you get too much inflammation, now you have that leakiness. So now it's going out into your bloodstream and you get the systemic inflammation. So when the gut is offset, you can have things like IBS, IBD, irritable bowel disease, but you can also have the systemic inflammation, all the diseases I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the heart disease, the cancer, the diabetes, etc. cetera. Um, then of course there's our favorite stress, uh, which is very impactful to the nervous system and you get into the sympathetic overdrive and versus your parasympathetic rest, digest, relax. So uh, the immune system is in its sort of best sense. And it's interesting because when are we supposed to, uh, sorry, when is the immune, when, when do the immune cells come out? I mentioned earlier at night when you're at rest because your body's very busy during the day. So at night when you're in that deep, relaxed sleep, that's when the immune system goes, okay, let's get to work. Let's clean house. Let's kill all the bad guys. Well, if you're not in that nice parasympathetic nervous system state and you're not in a nice deep sleep, and I'm about to mention sleep as another cause, uh, then you're not getting the benefits of the immune potential. So you, you, you've experienced this. You've been under a lot of stress and maybe you weren't sleeping very well because of the stress or you were pushing for some projects so you weren't allowing your body to get um, the sleep it needed and you push, push, push and you finish the project and then what? You get sick, right? And you got sick because you didn't have enough rest and relax to allow your immune system to function optimally. So with the stress, also sleep, really optimizing your sleep hours is is critical for the same reason okay so that all is one package uh, so so those are the reasons why 
you can be inflamed. And you'll note it's not too much of, a, well, it's not at all different than the, the main things we discuss, which is you need real food in your diet and you need to drink enough water, and you need to exercise, and you need to prioritize sleep, and you need your deep breathing to get you into that parasympathetic rest, digest, relax mode. These are foundational basics, we call them here at Root Cause, that when, we, when you don't have them, things are gonna go awry. Now, so those are the basics, so we can look at how you're doing with the basics. Then there's the specialized to you. Do you have specific infections that we've missed? Do you have a toxic overload that we've missed? Uh, do you have something like acid reflux and you're on medication for that and that's setting you up for more infections, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the things that are unique to you versus the generality. So I say, gave you some general tips, then the specific, that's where we love to get to know you and how you got here. Why are you in this condition of chronic inflammation? Because there's so much that can be done to really get to the root cause and optimize your health once again, because the beauty of it is, is when you get this chronic inflammation under control, not only is that going to you know, have your hiatal hernia back under control, but your blood pressure comes down and you are not so likely to get heart disease, you're not so likely to get cancer, your autoimmune diseases get under control because autoimmune, right, what does it mean? Immune system attacking self. Your immune system would never attack itself unless it was overwhelmed uh, and chronically triggered, which is what we've been talking about. So there's a lot of great tools that we use to get to the reason why you have chronic inflammation. And uh, I hope I explained that well and that you enjoyed this information. If you did, please continue to, uh, well, give it a thumbs up. If this is your first video, uh, give the video a thumbs up, uh, considering, consider subscribing to the channel. We uh, are growing the channel. We want more people to be able to get this information. So uh, subscribe and um, let me know. I pretty much respond to every comment that I get. So uh, if you have something more that you want to learn about, I'd love to hear it. And uh, I'll probably attach in the description a recent survey that we sent out uh, to our subscribers so that we can find out what it is you want to learn more about. So it's a very, very short survey, but we'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll talk soon.